hello farmers welcome back to our youtube channel sorry it's raining since morning so i waited this long to uh, make this video for you i don't want anything to be a distraction because you always complain about the voice and everything all together today's video is going to be on practical ways of how you can get your pepper seed of any variety no matter the variety of the pepper you want to plant so this is a simple way of how you can get it inside your house, in your compound, in your kitchen, at your backyard, within you. This video is going to continue for a while as I'll be working towards planting the seedling, nursing it, planting it, and doing other things that you can do within your compound and also harvest them to cook your food. All I needed for this video is simply inside this nylon here. The only thing I don't have right now is a small mortar. I will still come back to there. But before you get your pepper seedling, what are the things you are supposed to do? First, it's not like you go to, if you find it very easy, if you find this video, you know, very hard for you to get the seedling if you can't do it yourself, uh, if you find it very hard to do. Like, I'm sorry to say some of us, you know, feel somehow lazy to do stuff like this. Maybe we feel idle to do it. So if you find going to the shop to buy the seed very easy, you can equally do that. But if you think you don't want to spend money doing that, you can take this process and also get your seed and plant and you will have pepper at the end of everything. So what is the first thing you're supposed to do when you want to get your pepper seed? First, you go to the market where they are selling pepper, tomato, pepper of all variety. So you go to the market. Two, know the choice of the pepper you want to plant. Either it is the chili pepper, either it is the bell pepper, whichever one you want to plant, that is what you should go to the market to buy. Three, please buy a ripe one. The one that are already ripe, you buy a ripe pepper, not a ripe one. If any pepper has both the green and the red color in it, they are not fully ripe. You buy the one that is completely red. So those are ripe pepper. So those ripe pepper already have seed that are matured inside them. But the one that still have green and red are not fully matured. The greenish one are totally not matured. So you have to buy the red one. Those ones are mature. After buying them, then you bring it to your house. Remember, when you buy your pepper from the market, they are going to have this uh, tiny, tiny stick that, let me say, should I say stem or branches that is attached from the pepper to the stem or the branches of the pepper, you know, tree. So you are going to remove it before you do whatever things you want to do. But for easiest way, if you want to get this thing very easy, then you remove the the thing, the thing that is attached to that pepper, that little, uh, let, let me just call it stick, that is attached to that pepper, you remove it. After you remove it, then you put it inside maybe a nylon or a rubber. After you put it inside a rubber, you leave it to your second day. You can cover it up, you leave it to second day. This is not maybe to ferment it or to do any other thing, no. We want the pepper to get rotting a little bit. Because if you just buy it fresh and it's somehow hard, it might not be easy for you to do this process and also get the pepper seed easily. But if you allow it to get, get rotting, it will be easier for you to get the seedling out quickly. So those are the things you have to note before you start, you know, uh, working on how you can get the seedling out of the pepper seed. So I've got two or three people asking me how you can get the pepper seed. So this is the video in short. Let's watch. Firstly, I have my material here. This is blender, right? Uh, or what did you call it? I don't know. I think this should be blender. You know, this uh, little small grinder we use our in our kitchen. I think this is blender and this is the receiver, the, uh, the I call it the plate or the tray that receive it. So you have this, you can, that's why I said you can do this in your compound or in your kitchen. So you have this, you attach it, make sure it is firmly attached. So once you have this done, once you have this done, so you put it down, then don't forget all of us have this basket that we use in our kitchen. It should be tiny, tiny one. It shouldn't be big, big ones. 
should be tiny tiny baskets the uh, the, the, the holes shouldn't be too big it should be tiny one you can see it so that basket we use in the kitchen you see so you have this with this you are done although instead of using this this could be easier for every one of us to get and also use it to get the pepper seed that is why i got this if not you can also use mortar all of us know mortar you can use the kitchen one mortar so you pack the pepper you just put inside then you use the stick to roll on the pepper so once you it's a little bit uh grinded you like you know something you break everything will just break to understand that the seed will come out then you can now process it later on but right now the best thing i can advise you to do is this this thing is not going to tap out with your seed nor cause any harm to the seed you are trying to get out of the pepper so and the third one i have the rubber to receive the pepper after grinding and also to uh, get my seedling to put the seedling inside so that is the reason for all this rubber so i have my rubber here and the fourth one i have my pepper which i tied in the nylon i told you you can get your pepper from anywhere those pepper are okay once they are ripe they are okay just get any seed you want to plant so that is just it in here i have like uh two varieties of pepper and, and i also have tomato so it is the same process you are going to do to be able to uh, you know get the seedling out of this this uh this pepper or the tomato i have right here so this is out please watch where all my children when you are dealing with pepper you don't take it close to your nose and your eyes you understand so you should be careful of that so i want to separate the pepper because i buy them together here i have one variety of pepper this is the long one i really don't know the name of this pepper right now but you can see the name down here so that is the name of the pepper you can see so this is one variety of pepper so I, you, you see it here so this is the, the the stick that i'm talking about you can see the stick is attached to it you can see so this is the variety so i have it many here you can see here here so you can get as much as you want if you want to get much seed seed from the pepper you can get the pepper as much as you want you can get it plenty so that you can get plenty seed from it although not all of the seed are going to germinate but at least almost 90 80 percent of it will germinate at once if you get the seed out of them so now this is the uh variety of pepper i have one separated here then i have another one here this is uh tomato so you can see so if you go to the market to any tomato although there are some tomato that the house people they used to bring from the north that might not really do well here i don't know but at least get a better tomato the one that is big so you get it so you you see you get your tomato you separated them so you separated your tomato i have it here the thing is i'm not going to use all of this thing because I only want to do the practical this thing for you so i might not get everything out of these uh these things you are seeing here so this these are your tomato see i'm done with the tomato so this at this side now this, this is the third uh rubber so i have the chili pepper here so for us i don't know what chili pepper is this is chili pepper we used to call it rudo right so now I separated the chili pepper. Okay. And if I did not forget, I have my water here too. To do the processing. You see? I have my water here too. Alright. Now we have already separated the this thing. This is tomato. This is one variety of pepper. And this is another variety of pepper, right? now how do we get the sydney out of it i've already explained to you you can use mortar but so far not everybody have mortar in their kitchen but almost 80 70 percent of us have something like this for emergency whenever time we want to cook especially the uh singles <laughs> so we have these things every family people also have it so it is easier for us to get this thing like i told you it's not going to tamper with your seed 
So now let's start the processing. Okay. Remember to remove all the stick. Like I told you, see? This, remove it. Remember to remove the stick. These are the type that I told you that you should not do. You can see it has both the grain and the red one, so the seed are not fully matured. But all these ones, you can see completed one, they are matured already. So, uh, you can see, I have them. Like I told you, I'm not going to do everything finish, but I'll just get small. But if you want them many, you can do as many as you like as many as you want you can just do as many as you want but me i just want you to just do this practical uh, uh video so you pour it inside remember although you want to use it to cook too you can wash everything before you do you understand but still you are going to process and wash it too so you can wash it before you do because the after getting the seed the pepper you can still use it to cook that is one of the thing you get two things out of one so you can process and get the seed and also use the remaining one to do what to cook later on so what do we do that we steer is it steer or wine one right so you wine it it's going to grind it down right Okay, I'm done. So let me put this one that I'm not using down. So after grinding, you can see inside you can still see seed there. So it doesn't tamper with the seed. Now we separated this, right? So, Please be careful with your eyes when you are doing things like this. Okay. In here I still have some seeds. Okay, I'm done with this already. So let's check out another variety. Don't forget, remove, remove. You see, this should be enough. You set your distance again, then you start. Okay. But this tomato is very simple. 
You don't need to use this. It is very, very simple. It's something you can use your hand to do. So forget about using this thing when it comes to tomato. Just pick the one that you want to use, you know. After you pick it, then you squeeze. You squeeze. See? Tomato is not that hard. You squeeze. You see? This and this. Now, let's continue. This is the processing time now. Okay? Let's assume we'll go with the first one. This is the bell one. This is the bell pepper. And this is the other long one. So, let's take the bell pepper and, you know, process it so that we can get the seed out of the pepper right now so it is very easy but it, it might take you a little time though to get it done so that's why i said if you're not idle or lazy about it you can easily get it in your home so it's not easy to to get after grinding and after processing this is what you you have left so at first take your water then pour it inside what you grind Okay, doesn't matter how many you put. So any seed that floats on the surface of the water is not good to, it's not matured for planting. Any seed of the pepper that floats on the water is not matured enough for planting. So you go, use your basket to receive. Well done. Then, this is the pepper already separated from little, little of the pepper is separated from the seed already. Okay, you still continue. You can use the water again and again. Pour the water. Let this one down. The basket again, you receive. You can see this is the pepper again <coughs> with little seed <laughs> you can see inside the this thing we are getting the seed little by little you can see it then you turn it again Then you add, you shake it so that the pepper this thing can follow it out. You shake, okay? So you still have some small bit here. You turn it. With this now, if you like, you can process it again. If you like, you can just leave it like this and dry it. But for now, I already have the seed. So look, you can, you can see the this thing. All this white, this thing you are seeing, these are the seed. Now let me bring it close to the camera so that you can see it. But you see it? You can see that the pepper is separated from, the seed is separated from the this thing, from the pepper. See? Wow, I put it away because of you. See? The ones inside the water here too are pepper seed. See. So that's how to easily to easily get it. You can see inside it all. This one water on the ground, you can see all these ones are seed. So you find one place. You find one place to pour it so that you can dry. So sorry, I don't have much materials with me here. I'm in the farm. So you pour it. see so this is one variety of pepper so you can now spread it so once you have it like this you can now spread it you know you dry it inside sun but don't let it get too dry because the sun might end up 
killing the seed. Let's come to the tomato oil. So the tomato oil, you can turn the water away. Take new water. So add it to your tomato, the one you already broken. So the processing again. You continue again, you turn. Don't forget to shake so that the tomato will follow it out. Inside the basket, I have some seed of tomato already. So you put it back. Okay, you can easily, set. if there are not much, you can easily separate this. See, if it's not much, you can easily take out this. Okay, then you do what? Drain the water. Now you have your tomato seed. See? You have your tomato seed. So you can now pour it on something and dry it, you know, for something like one day. Like I told you, too much of sunlight, if you dry it, if you over dry it, it will still spoil the seed. So you, you should be very careful of how you dry the seed after you collect them from the pepper or the tomato. So you continue with this, you put pour inside this thing and you dry it. So from there, you have your seed. If you still want to get more, if you notice this, there are still many inside the tomato you get them from, you still turn it inside the water or you turn water back inside it. Still the same process, you go. What I got here is a seed, a seed, only seed. So you can still turn again. I don't have much of the seed here again, so there's no reason to stop it myself. So that is that about how you can collect your seed inside your compound at your own. So how do you preserve it? It is very simple. Once you get it like this, please keep it inside something that a uh, pest such as a uh, rat or other insect so that they won't go inside and spoil it. So you can do it like this after you dry it. You can put it inside your tin, this thing, anything, this thing, like all this milk tin. So you put it inside, you cover it. If you cover it, you can leave it till next year. When it's time to plant, you can plant again. So, but let it be well dried. So once they are well dried, then you put it inside the tin. If you don't still want to do this thing, you can mix ashes with it. So little ashes, put ash ashes, like ashes you get from fire, firewood. So you put it inside, you cover it together with this thing, you leave it in next year. And if you can't do that, so just leave it, dry it well. After you dry it well, you can put little wrapper inside it, pour it inside the wrapper and close the thing. So close it well, you put it in a very warm place, not a place that, that is always cold. So be a place that is a bit warm and a bit cold. So you leave it like that in next year. Next year you can take it out and you plant. So I'm going to leave this seed like this to dry. So whatever time it's dry, then we'll now continue with how to make the bed at home and how to, you know, pour it on the bed and also wet it so that it can grow, then we transplant. So everything is going to be done on this YouTube channel. So if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification. My name is Simeon O. James. If you love the video, please don't forget to subscribe and also like, smash the share button and also drop a comment. Thank you for watching.